Tesla has reduced the price of the Model Y and the Model 3 here in Australia. And at the same time, it's brought in a couple of different changes to the Model Y. Some of those changes were already in the Chinese version of the Model Y, but unfortunately, we only get part of the Chinese changes. I'm gonna tell you which ones we get, which ones we don't, and which Model Y I think is the best value. Now, Tesla have also reduced the price of the long range Model 3. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Guys, Um, I just got my stitches out of my foot yesterday. So yeah, that's kind of nice, kind of fun to be able to get those removed. And um, now I don't have to keep my foot up 24 hours a day above my heart, which is what I was having to do before. Anyway, you don't wanna know about that. The Tesla Model 3 Long Range. It has had its price reduced in Australia by $1,000. I think it's honestly a better deal than the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range. And the reason I say that is it has so much more range, so much more power. It's all wheel drive as well. Uh, it's $9,000 Australian dollars more expensive than the Standard Range, but it's $1,000 cheaper than what it was before. So the price has gone down from $71,900 Australian dollars to $70,900. $1,000 discount, not a lot, but it does mean, I mean, when you equate this to US dollars, it's about what, 48,000, 47,000 US dollars. I think it's a really good car for the money. Now, of course, it does compete with the uh, BYD Seal, the performance. So a lot of people are comparing the two, BYD Seal performance versus Tesla Model 3. There's pros and cons to both cars. I've outlined some of those in another video. Um, where, where I think, you know, there's advantages to the Model 3, there's advantages to the SEAL, and you've got to really make up your own mind. Tesla Model Y, what are the changes? Okay, the changes are not, not much, unfortunately. They have given us a couple of little changes from the Chinese version, but the biggest, most important ones we didn't get, which is insane, right? So the, the Chinese version of the Model Y has a little bit longer range. It has way more power. The standard range Model Y has an extra 100 horsepower meaning it can do zero to 100 kilometers an hour in one second faster, 5.6 seconds, I believe it is. We didn't get that for some reason. I, I don't know why, but we got some blacked out styling elements, um, some changes, very minor changes to the exterior of the car. We didn't get the changes to the interior for some bizarre reason. Um, the Chinese version has LED lights on the interior, kind of like the similar dash look as what you get in the Tesla Model 3 Highland. We didn't get that either. So the biggest main changes uh, it really is just some blacked out sections on the outside of the car instead of chrome and also new wheels. So pretty disappointing. But what's not disappointing is the price reductions, which are pretty big, up to an $8,500 discount on the Tesla Model Y. So the standard range Model Y, the price has been reduced by $1,500 for the standard range. And so not much of a, a reduction because that's the most popular version. Tesla is selling plenty of those. The price now is 63,900 Australian dollars. Really very cheap and very, very affordable, surprisingly affordable when you consider the fact that that is what, about 42,000 US dollars. It means the, the standard range Model Y is now cheaper in Australia than what it is in the United States or Europe. In fact, it's significantly cheaper than what it costs in Europe, which is, well, not everywhere in Europe. There's some places in Europe that are cheaper than others, but in most countries, if you compare it to Australia, it's cheaper in Australia. The Model Y long range all wheel drive is 72,900. Price has been reduced by $5,500. So there is a $9,000 price difference between the Model Y rear wheel drive and the Model Y long range all wheel drive. The same price difference applies to the Tesla Model 3 between the standard range model and the long range model. The Model Y performance though gets the biggest discount. It's now a legitimate performance car bargain. It's the fastest electric SUV in Australia that costs under $100,000. And it's only 83,000. It's 82,900 Australian dollars, which is a discount of $8,500. What's the difference? You might be wondering, what's the difference between the Model Y rear wheel drive and the Model Y long range? The main difference is you get an extra motor. Uh, so you're getting all wheel drive. You get a lot more power though. You're getting a, about twice the power Plus you get different wheels um, for the Model Y long range and you're gonna get fog lights. So those are the main differences, but the biggest difference is the battery pack is bigger. It's not a lithium ion phosphate battery pack. 
CATL make the lithium iron phosphate battery pack in the standard range Model Y. The battery pack in the long range Model Y is bigger, but it is actually uses different cells. So it doesn't use lithium iron phosphate cells. It uses a, a tradition, more traditional lithium chemistry with nickel and cobalt in the battery pack. But it does mean you're getting a lot more range in that vehicle, mostly due to the fact the battery is bigger than anything else. Now, even though it's heavy, the car is heavier because it's got a bigger battery and an extra motor, uh, you're going to get yeah, quite a bit more range. So about 15% about more range in the real world. You might be thinking to yourself, well, you know, will the lithium ion phosphate battery pack last longer than the battery pack in the long range or the performance? And the answer would be usually yes, but honestly, it's irrelevant. And the reason it's irrelevant is because, well, there's a Tesla Model Y right now, an owner who has done 211,000 miles and he has 10% battery degradation in his battery. Uh, there's a Tesla Model 3 owner that's done 420,000 miles. He has about 20% battery degradation. There's many, many Tesla Model 3s with this same battery pack, the same battery pack that's in the long range all wheel drive, which is not lithium ion phosphate. Many owners of the Model 3 have done more than 300,000 miles with around 10% battery degradation. What all this means is the battery is going to outlive the life of the car for every single model here. Every single model of Model 3, every model, Model Y, the battery will outlive the life of the car. So don't really worry about what the battery chemistry is. Um, we now know that it's really not that relevant. There's just too many, too many Teslas getting around with this battery pack that have lasted for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles. So the biggest difference between the Tesla Model Y long range and the performance is of course power. You're getting more power, it's the same battery pack. You're getting quite a bit more power. The vehicle is quite a bit faster as a result. You can do zero to 100 kilometers an hour or zero to 62 miles an hour in around 3.7 seconds. It's about a second faster from zero to 100. It's very, very fast when you think that it's basically a crossover SUV. It gets 21 inch Uber turbine wheels. I'm not a fan of 21 inch wheels. Do you guys know why that is? But anyway, if you like big wheels, it gets big wheels. It gets performance brakes, so much better brakes. It has lowered suspension and it has aluminum alloy pedals. There's a few other changes as well that um, Tesla don't really mention between the Model Y long range, but those are the main differences. Really, you're paying about $10,000 more for a faster, better handling version of the Model Y. Anyway, guys, these discounts are really good. Now, I think my personal opinion, if you're going to be picking a Model Y, is I would definitely be looking at the Model Y long range all wheel drive at a price of $72,900. So at a $9,000 premium, I think getting that bigger battery pack, getting that extra range, getting the all wheel drive, uh, much better performance, the fog lights and neither here nor there in my opinion, I just think it's worth the $9,000. That's my personal opinion. And considering the discount of that vehicle is significant, $5,500, uh, it seems to be a pretty, you know, a pretty good discount where you feel like, hey, I'm getting a good deal here. There's another change to the Model Y that I haven't mentioned yet, and that is the colors. Um, there's some different colors. There is a, a total of three new colors. There's Stealth Gray, and that costs $2,300 extra. There is Quicksilver, that's $2,600, and there is Ultra Red, that's $2,600 as well. So those colors mean that two of the existing colors are now gone. Silver Metallic and Red Multi Coat are now gone. I think that's a good idea. It means that it, if you're getting a Model Y now, you get one of these colors, you won't see those colors in the previous Model Y. It kind of signifies almost a change, a newer version of the Model Y. Now, is it really? Not really, unfortunately. I don't, I don't understand why Tesla hasn't passed on the Chinese changes. Everyone thought they would. Tesla don't normally do this. I mean, for the last, what, you know, seven, eight years of the company's history since they've been, um, you know, mass manufacturing the Model 3, when they make a change in the factory, they would pass it on to all cars eventually within the course of, say, six months, all factories, you know, all models, those changes would be applied. For some reason, they haven't done that. So the right-hand drive versions of the Model Y being made in China are clearly on a different production line to the left-hand drive Chinese versions. And they haven't added in these new changes and new features, which make the Model Y a better car for the Chinese versions. I don't know why that is. Unfortunately, they haven't. But... Here's the good news, and that, that is that by the end of this year, we're going to see the Model Y Juniper, and it's going to be a much better car than the existing Model Y. Might be a little bit more expensive, but it will be a much more luxurious, more premium vehicle. Thanks for watching.